Hey there, everybody. How you doing? I am Francis, and welcome back to Final Fantasy VII. Last episode, we have reached the core of the planet. Sephiroth is waiting for us, straight down below us. So let's not waste any time. Let's not keep him waiting. Let's go wrap this up, shall we? Let's go. Yep, let's get going. All right, everyone. Let's mosey. Damn, again? Stop saying it like a wamp. Can't you say move out or something like that? Yeah, come on, Cloud. All right, move out. Happy now? There you go. What? Look at the number. They're coming. Oh, at full force. Cloud, you go first. I'm fighting here too. Shut up. It won't do us no good with everyone back here. Barrett's right. You take two of us with you and go first. The rest will catch up with you later. Is this like a practice run before the real thing? Kinda! Yeah, major practice run. Hey, <laughs> hey, I'm fine with that. It's probably more fun than finding Sephiroth down there. Hmm, this might be fun to pass time. Alright. They're coming. They're already on the floor next to us. Cloud, hurry up and make up your mind! Well, we arranged our party already, uh, before I decided to move out. Uh, I, I think I've already made up my mind on who I want to take. Obviously, this team. Do we really need to discuss that? All of you. Later. Don't die on me. Yeah, later, man. Let's go! Oh boy! You know what this music means, right? Yeah, we're going to find Genova one more time. Oh boy, is that fun. Can never have enough of Genova, right? Where am I going from here? Oh, okay, he's down this way, alright. I was a bit confused there. Where do I go from here? Oh, I had to push circle, okay. Everywhere else, I was sort of just walking. Oh. Hi! I'd rather not fight you if you don't mind. Or do I have to fight you? Is this a fight we can't run away from? I'd really rather not, you know? Yeah, I can run away. Alright, cool. I really want to fight the bosses with full health because it's, you know, the foul boss, right? All right. Well, that was a minor uh, setback, but that's okay. And well, there's a core right down there. That's what we're uh, heading towards. And it looks like every two one of these is a dude waiting for us. Too bad I'm not gonna waste my time with them. Yeah, see, I'm just running away. Get the hell out of there. Not worth my time. Wow, you see it's two and then there's another one. This time it was uh, one more jump and then there's uh, some guys for ya. Alright. Here too. Oh, we got our nerf break. Oh, Genova's gonna be in for a fun time. Her guardians have actually made me stronger, which is gonna lead to more pain for her. These things I have to fight before I can get down there. Like, the core is right there. Oh, hello. You're not the Iron Giants. I still don't want to fight you if you don't mind. Yeah, I'm not stopping. I'm going to keep running. Later. Took the time to heal, and then I'm out. I'm peacing out. All right, we have made it to the bottom. This is the core of the planet. Sephiroth should be here somewhere. Where are we? What? What? Hi! Genova. It's coming! Yep, we got to fight Genova one more time. I don't really like this music as much as the R Genova music, but that's okay. So, I think about this fight, by the way. Do not, I repeat, do not under any circumstances use Knights of the Round against this uh, for Genova because Using Knights of the Round will give uh, the next fight 
An extra 65,000 HP. Yes, you heard me right. Dragon dive. Go for it, Sid. Uh, repeated jumps. Basically, go for attack that attack all of them. And here comes Omni Slash. Oh, you are toast, Genova. Hell yeah. It's a beautiful thing to behold, isn't it? So if I'm not correct, the Genova here, or maybe the next fight, uh, something... Yeah, you're the one that has a countdown. So when that countdown hits, uh, zero, it's gonna be using, uh... It's gonna be using, uh, Ultima, which, uh, it didn't get a chance to because it's already dead, because holy hell, our limits, uh, obliterated it. But yeah, if you use Nice to run against that, uh, Sephiroth's gonna have uh, an extra 65,000 HP added to him. Let's not make our lives a bit diff that difficult, shall we? Oh. Oh, speaking of Sephiroth. I think he's already successfully became one with the planet. Since he can cause this to happen. In the Northern K, we're pretty much in his world, aren't we? Light. A light. Is this? Is this light holy? I think it is. Oh, hello. Wow, damn man! What are you doing here? Barrett? What, so everyone's together again? Yeah, pretty much! We just got separated so that we could fight Genova without you guys, apparently. Oh, hello. We're floating. Ugh. Oh. I hear the music. Oh, there he is. I was about to say, where are you? Sephiroth! Ow! Ugh. Is this the true power of Sephiroth? My, my body. I can't control my body. Ugh. My front legs. My hind legs. My tail is about to tear off. This is definitely not good. He's way out of our league. Well, we gotta fight him anyways. I, I don't know if I can go on. We'll have to, Yuffie. Cloud? Cloud! Ugh. Now. There. It's there. Cloud? Hoey. Hoey. Is there. Yeah, Hoey's the light behind Sephiroth. It's being contained by, well, his presence, his power. The Hoey is shining. Eris's prayer is shining. Hoey? Eris? It's not over yet. This isn't the end just yet. Oh, of course not. We have to fight. Uh, you know, I think I made up my mind who I want my team to be when I decided to split up. Why are you asking me again? Oh yeah, we have to make two teams. Alright. Uh, second team. Go with Barrett. Go with Tifa. And go with Vincent. Why not? And equipment. Alright. You got missing score. You got that. I'm not even going to be using this team, so I don't really care what I give them. Alright, let's go. Let's go, everyone! Whoa! And yeah, the people we weren't using, uh, they got shot away. This ain't nothing. Okay, I can't be fooling around in the bottom of this hellhole. I still have lots of stuff to do with my life. Yeah. Not only Eris. Hoey is the prayer of avalanche, of Berlin, and Dawn, and everyone on the planet. Eris's memories, our memories. We came to tell you our memories. Come, planet, show us your answer, and Sephiroth, to the settling of everything. Okay. He just basically absorbed us. 
And yeah, this is Bizarro Sephiroth, the first form of Sephiroth. And like I said, if we used the um, nice set of round against the uh, Genova, it would have an extra 65,000 HP to whatever the hell it has now. I'm not really sure what it has. Uh, Bahamut Zero. Basically, go for attacks that attack all limbs. I can use Ice around against this form, though. And I think I will. You're very magical friendly. Holy shit. Okay. You gotta be taken seriously, I see. Alright. I like this music. I forgot how good this music was. Go, Bahamut Zero. Strike your fury down upon this bowl. There you go. Oh yeah, the core is the weakness, but we can't attack it as long as the arms, I think, it are, are around. Because they're protecting it. So keep that in mind. We destroyed something. Hey, portion B is dead. Nah, no, not really worried about the arrows. <laughs> Why would I want to trade out? Because nice of the round is now coming. And I didn't equip the arrow team because I don't really give a shit about the arrow team. I always gotta love Knights of the Round. It's a bit of a long attack, though. But it does some good damage. You know that head's gonna be dead. You can't do any damage to the core. None of these attacks are gonna damage the core because, uh... Well, the head's obviously destroyed, but it's not gonna be, well, like, I'm dead until after the attack. So, sadly, Nice of the Round's not going to be doing any damage to the core, and that's kind of sad. Hello, Final Knight! Shatter the walls! The walls of reality! Yeah, I think his body portion's now destroyed. He's sinking. Oh wow, he's already dead! Cool! We don't have to attack the core. We, we defeated him. That was easy. That was like the easiest thing I ever did in my life. What the hell? You call that a final boss? Oh yeah, there's more. That was only phase one. Oh yeah! Everybody who's played this game knows this music. Oh, One Winged Angel. This is the real final fight. Say hello to Space 2. Safer Sephiroth. He looks kinda cool, I got me. Alright, we're gonna heal up first off. And we're gonna strike nice and around upon you. Oh, you're gonna be using wall, are ya? Okay, well, that's fine. Let's strike some comments down upon your face, shall we? Best thing about this fight is listening to One Winged Angel. <laughs> For sure! I'm gonna try not to talk too much because I actually enjoy listening to this. Oh no, who is going to weaken Knights of the Round? I'm still doing at least 3,000 points of damage though, so that's pretty nice. Yeah, there we go. If you guys see me play Diagon on Mario, you know I enjoy this game, and I was kind of upset that I didn't really get to listen to this and all uh, that. Because, well, I kept dying!
be amazing if Nice and Around just took care of uh, Saper Sephiroth right there. Not gonna happen, obviously. But it would have been cool. Comet 2! And we use an elixir on Cloud. Oh, Shadow Flare. Up, oh, Sid's dead. Oh, it missed! <laughs> what? <laughs> but now, this has Quattro magic, so Ultima is going to be a real pain for him. Bahamas Zero? He's gonna hit by this four times! Wall is kind of weakening it, which makes me a little sad, but that's okay. It's still gonna be at least 4,000 points of damage. Because it's being hit four times. Alright. Are you gonna be countering that as well? Oh! Shit! <laughs> what are you doing? Is Supernova coming? Or are you just flying up high? I wanna fly high! Okay. Ah, right, damn, I was gonna do tier 3, but not getting a chance. Now I gotta wait. I gotta wait for the limits to do their limity thing. Or summons rather, not limits, sorry. My brain is scrambled! Let me rephrase that then. We have to wait for the summons to do their summony thing before I can put input command because that's the thing this game did. And one thing about this game that I have a big gripe with. I'm always trigger happy. I like to have my hands doing something. I wasn't really an issue in Final Fantasy VIII because I could still input commands and plus it gave me a little boost thing I could do so that my hands can still do something while waiting. Don't get wrong, I like the animations, I'm just saying, you know. I like to be doing things, you know, especially when I have my turn and my chance to input something. Dragon Dive! Yeah, that's good for you, it's also good for me, mate. Here we go! You made Sid angry. Okay, the cars are kind of different, but kind of cool. That was pretty nice. Is Supernova now coming? No, Pale Horse is coming. Don't know what that does. Oh. That was not that bad. Oh yeah, that's why he's flying, so I can't reach him with, uh, physical attacking. Yeah, that's fine. I'll hit you enough in our software. Oh, Supernova, it's coming, guys! Oh boy, be ready. Oh yeah, and Supernova, just like, uh, a summon. I have to sit through and watch it. And this is one of the longest animations in this game. I think it's like three, five minutes long. You can watch it, you can enjoy it. It's pretty much a Sephiroth's uh, limit break, and it's basically destroying the planet. Although it doesn't really destroy the planet. Although he does more than destroy the planet, he destroys the whole galaxy. Pluto? Oh no, he destroyed Pluto! Saturn? Oh, not Saturn! Don't do this to Saturn! Y you gone done this to Saturn, how dare you? Jupiter? Okay, well you didn't destroy, uh, oh, never mind, you did, okay, I was, like, I was about to say, you didn't destroy Jupiter, you just put a big hole in it. But no, you destroyed it. Oh, he's going straight for the sun. And yeah, striking the sun, destroys the entire galaxy! And maybe you're on a galaxy. Oh, there goes Mercury. Venus. And yeah, our point is next.
You destroyed our whole solar system. What the hell, Sephiroth? Oh, it's getting closer to us. And we're brave. We're just staring it down. <laughs> oh! Boy, the damage that was done to us. Yikes. Tier 3. Alright, that should recover us. We're in recovery mode right now. Okay, that should do. Neil Bahamut, Heartless Angel. Oh, shit. Well, somebody's health is going down to one. Or everybody. Yikes, okay. Mega Elixir then. I'm gonna wait for Mega Elixir to do its thing before I do uh, Doom of the Living. Safer Sephiroth, meet Neil Bahamut. Your demise, your destruction, your doom. Call him what you will, but he is that and more. Doom of the Living. Omni Slash. Oh yeah. Get ready. Oh yeah, because of wall, we're not going to be doing a lot of damage. Right. Oh, wall is getting annoying. How strong is your wall anyway? Should have been destroyed by now. Oh, is he dead? We did it. Safer Sephiroth is no more. He's gonna blow up! Or fade away. I thought he was gonna blow up, but no, he's just fading away. Goodbye, Sephiroth! Return to hell where you belong. Oh, that was fun! And there we are. We all made it out. This is all we could do. Wait, what about Hoey? What's gonna happen to the planet? That I don't know. Isn't the rest up to the planet? Yeah, we did really all we can do. You're right. We done all that we could do. Exactly what I said there. Alright everyone. It's no use thinking about it. We leave all our worries here. Let's go home proud. Sounds good to me. Off we go. Oh. What happened? I feel it. What? Feel what? He is still here. God damn it, Sephiroth. Uh oh. Still. Cloud! He's laughing. Woo! Cloud! Oh, we're falling. Going right through a tunnel. Hmm. Very impressive down here. Ah, so many tunnel ways I'm being dragged into. Oh boy.
And there he is. The real Sephiroth. The final battle is now. And well, this final battle is honestly a joke. You cannot lose this fight. Ever. It's impossible to lose this fight. Oh yeah, dramatic stare down. And yeah, all your materials taken away. All you can really do is uh, Omni Slash. And even if you don't do Omni Slash, uh, Sephiroth will attack you and you got automatic counter attack. You'll destroy Sephiroth no matter what, but honestly, finishing all off with Omni Slash is so much cooler. Even if you didn't take the time to learn Omni Slash, you have it for this fight. And yeah, it's over just like that. We win. Yeah, you pretty much seen better days. Goodbye, Sephiroth. You will not be... You will not get a second chance again. No black material will bring you back this time. You're not gonna be crystallized. You're gone. Oh. Hmm? Live stream. Indeed it is. Huh? Is that Eris? I think it is. No other dead person in live stream we know of. Oh! Uh, never mind, it's just Tifa. Uh oh! Uh, Cloudboy, you gotta start moving, man! This is not good. Uh-oh. Tifa. Oh, that got Cloud's ass in motion. Damn, that was close. That was very close. I think I'm beginning to understand. What? An answer from the planet. The promised land. I think I can meet her there. Obviously, you're referring to Eris, right? Yeah, let's go meet her. Oh. Hey, where is everyone? Uh, don't you know they all went off? Uh, you told them to go on ahead? Hey! Yeah, they're still here. I'm glad you're all safe. They all seem to be safe, too. But, now what are we going to do? Well, like we said before, this is really all we can do. The rest is up to Hoey. Hoey should be moving soon. And that means this place will... Oh, uh, Lady Luck, don't fail me now! Huh? Uh-oh! Oh, it's the high wind! What's it doing here? I mean, it's, I'm glad it came in. We do have to get the hell out of here. Lady Luck did not fail you, Sid. She is still very much in your favor. Alright, and there's Hoey. Off to save the world from Meteor. And luckily, we're not destroyed by the blast. Woohoo! Shit! Emergency! Wow, that guy's out there. Good job, Sid! Not sure what you did, but I saved our asses. Oh, we're in calm. It took me a while to realize where this was. The flower girl. 
Is that Marlene? Yep, that's Marlene, alright. So that's where they went off to. They're in calm now. Uh-oh. Well, Judgment Day is upon us. We've been un underground in a crater and didn't even realize how close Meteor was. And it's even causing uh, turbines in, uh, in Midgar. There goes the Shira building. Oh, I don't have to worry about them no more, I guess. I mean, the president's dead, right? Oh, Midgar's gonna die too. Holy shit. And there's Hoey to save the day. Whoa! Hey, there's Cosmo Canyon. Oh, it's breaking through. Oh no. Hoey is not enough to save us from this catastrophe. Well, that's kind of a letdown. We went through all that work and it wasn't enough. We couldn't save the planet. Wait a damn minute. What's going to happen to Midgar? Forget Midgar, think about the rest of the planet. We can't let that happen. I had everyone take refuge in the slums. But the way things are now... It's too late for Hoey. Meteor is approaching the planet and there's not a thing we can do about it. Hoey is having the opposite effect. Oh, that's not good! Our efforts were for nothing! Forget Midgar, we gotta worry about the planet. Yeah, I said the same thing, Red. This goes beyond get just Midgar. Midgar's just gonna be the first to suffer the catastrophe. What's that? Oh. The life stream? This is a rare sight. The life stream doesn't normally leave the planet. Except for when it gushes out in Medeal like we saw. What the hell is that? It's the life stream. Life stream. It's coming! The entire life stream. Going through those ways is everyone who has died. Even so the monsters that we uh, destroyed. Rufus and his father are probably in there too. That does look pretty cool. It's literally the whole planet fighting back against Meteor. Hoey alone cannot get the job done. Both the souls of the dead. There's a chance. 500 years later. 500 years, wow. We're really jumping forward in time.
Okay, I have a few questions here. Red is less of a species, right? So where do these uh, two kids come from? Did Red find another one of his kind? Also, 500 years later, how old does his species live for? Holy hell. That's a lot of seagulls. Final Fantasy 7. Why am I terrified? I'm not playing a horror game. Why are the children laughing in my ears? Why did I send a shiver down my spine? Alright, and well, that is the end of Final Fantasy VII. This literally goes on forever until you uh, reset the game or turn off your PlayStation. So, yeah, this is it. So, yeah, that was Final Fantasy VII. What are my thoughts on this game? Well, I, I don't know really how to put this into words. Uh, I still enjoy the game. The game is still great, don't get me wrong there. But the thing is... I don't feel the same way playing it that I did, uh, you know, like 20 years ago when I first played this game. At least I think it was 20 years ago. Either way, I don't feel the same way playing it now that I did then. Like, I still enjoy the game, but not as much, you know. Like, does the game still live up to the hype? The, uh, I guess, like, uh, I guess the people that claim this game is like the best game ever or the, like, the best of the series, I'm guessing they're speaking like through nostalgia, but you take out the nostalgia glasses, it's not really as uh, phenomenal as you remember it. It was great for its time, but yeah, I say it aged uh, pretty bad. Like, uh, there's spelling mistakes everywhere. How did that get passed into the final version? I have no idea. The ATB bar is so slow. Um, you can't input uh, commands during summon animations. That's kind of more like a me thing, though. And, yeah, there are plot holes in the story, don't get me wrong, there are definitely, uh, plot holes, like, nowhere in the story does it tell you that, uh, well, the Sephiroth you were chasing before Sephiroth was, uh, provide was, uh, basically, uh, Genova in Sephiroth's, uh, body through, like, Sephiroth's will. That was never really explained, you know? But, yeah, overall, I'm not gonna really crap on this game, this game is still, uh, it's still pretty good, it, it is what it is, you know? A lot of people love it, you guys love it, uh, you know, great for you guys, if you don't like it, hey, that's okay too, you know? Where I stand is kinda more like on a, yeah, I, I like it part, you know, but I don't, you know, go overboard for it, like, oh my god, this is the best game ever made, 10 out of 10! No, that, it, it's not, okay? <laughs> it, it's just not. Anyways, uh, that was uh, Final Fantasy 7. Hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thank you so much for joining me on this adventure. I really hope you guys have uh, enjoyed this. And the next Final Fantasy game... Um, I'm kind of deciding right now if it should be uh, Final Fantasy 9 or Final Fantasy 10 to be next. I'm not sure which one I'm going to go with. We'll find out though. You'll find out when I figure it out. Either way, hope you guys have enjoyed this. Thank you so much again for joining me. And I'll see you guys next time. But until then, thank you for joining me. Have a nice day. Bye, everybody.